Okay, so the first thing that you want to do, obviously, is log in by typing user at the end of the address uh, for your website. Um, for illustration purposes, I'm going to use an account called Test User One. It's a temporary account we've set up to show you how to add image galleries to your website. Um, go ahead and log in. Once we've logged in, uh, you can save your password uh, if you would like. I'm not going to save mine on this particular machine. Uh, you're going to have your normal menu bar across the top here with all of the options. You should be familiar with this by now. And when you go to create content, you'll notice there's a new option called Image Gallery. I'm going to go ahead and click on Image Gallery. And it's going to look like your normal uh, page uh, creation uh, that you're, you're used to with all of the other pages and, and events that you've been creating so far. So what we're going to do is go ahead and title this. And for today's purpose, I'm just going to call it uh, Flowers or something, just something whatever you want to call it, it's your event, you're going to tag that as an image gallery. What that's going to do is make it where when you click up here for photos, since you've tagged it image galleries, it's automatically going to show up under this link as the most recent post. Um, here you'll have your content area you're very familiar with. Uh, type a sentence here. Uh, you might want to type uh, a few things about what's going on uh, in the image gallery, where it was located, what you know, uh, what activities were going on, that sort of stuff. Just basically a brief little uh, synopsis of the gallery. Then we're going to scroll on down, and this is where all the magic happens. Once you get down past the uh, WYSIWYG editor, you're going to notice an icon that has a little plus on it that will change colors when you hover on it. This is to add images. When you add images, what's going to happen is, is you're going you're to get a pop-up here that shows up and uh, whether you're on Mac or Windows, it's going to bring up your computer uh, fol uh, folder structure. You go into your pictures directory wherever you may have uh, loaded the pictures onto your computer. Um, I'm going to go in here and type and find the uh, default sample pictures folder from Windows. Once you've got your pictures ready to go, you can actually go into the folder. Now you want to resize it and see more. There's only uh, just a few photos in here, but you can actually drag and select all of the pictures that you want. You can hit open. And what that's going to do is it's going to queue up all of the images that you want to add to the site in a list here. As you can see, I'm scrolling up and down to show you all the images here. Once you've done that, it says here at the bottom, queued files will be uploaded by clicking the Save button at the bottom of this page. You want to go ahead and click Save, and you're going to see your progress meters really start to fill up and once they're done it might take just a few minutes you've, you've got uh, uh, a fair amount of bandwidth to use here I've made the limit for picture size at 100 megabytes so you shouldn't have any trouble uploading any of your photos even from raw on a digital camera there are no constraints on file size Maybe I should insert elevator music here while we're waiting. Or you can just listen to John walk around the room drinking water. Alright, so now it's getting towards the bottom. Um, once they're all done uploading, your progress bar right in here is going to change to, it'll say something along the lines of next step and wait on it to go ahead and upload in this area all of the images it will prompt you for the next step when it's done okay so all of them are complete we're going to go ahead and hit next step you can either hit it here or you can hit it down at the bottom uh, what that's going to do is bring up your captions page. 
So what we've done is, so far is upload the images to the site. We've not really changed anything. But you can go in here and change the title of the image. And for search engine optimization purposes and readability, accessibility, what you'll want to do is enter an alternate tag, what they call an image alternate tag. It can be the same as the title if you want. It doesn't have to be anything different. It can be something different. Um, and then in your description, you might put uh, a little more detail of lovely flowers in a, in a field or uh, Joey catches a pass and fo playing football. Whatever you, whatever is going on in the image, uh, repeat that all the way down for all of the images that you have uploaded. Um, and once you're done editing, you're going to go ahead and hit done editing at the bottom, and it should bring you back to the page that you've created, uh, and they will be perfectly styled in little thumbnails. And when you click on them, the light box should activate, giving you a full version of the uh, gallery. It will go from, it will automatically uh, scroll through the slideshow, picture to picture, with about a three second delay between. Um, as you can, as you'll notice, um, it has the title here, and if it has a description put in, we'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and skip through to the one that I actually put a description on. Uh, it will put the description right underneath, or a caption right underneath the image. Once it's done, it will go away. And there you have it. Simple, easy way to display multiple images in one page on your website. Thank you for listening.